Stargate Studios is a full-service production company. We have that total legacy of production and post-production capabilities. So we do them both, and we do them both well. We're always trying to reinvent ourselves. We're trying to think ahead and be relevant five years out. Visual effects are pretty complicated, but a lot of them are relatively simple. Things that aren't, you know, a thousand zombies coming over the ridge. Those effects that we can bring into real time, we want to bring them on set and really be part of the filmmaking process on set rather than something that happens in a black room a month later. Let's say you're doing a show that takes place primarily on a bus. And instead of sitting there for day after day after day, staring at green screen through the windows and the entire crew and all the cast being so disconnected from what's going on and what this thing is gonna look like at the end of the day, we are actually able to bring that experience to everybody live on set. Not only that, but a show that is primarily in one environment or just a few environments is going to end up being potentially 500 green screen shots at the end of the day. At that point, now we start talking about the financial realities of shooting on green and the financial realities of what through you can offer a production. For many years, we pursued real-time green screen shooting. There's a four or five frame lag on there and you're basically doing a pre-visualization on set, but it's not a finished product. Now what we're doing is going for finished product on set in the lens, done. Through Beauty set of tools that we've created that allows to shoot in real time, to actually see everything in camera, all the reflections, all the lighting, it gives you final pixel solution to, to typical shooting that would have been green screen in the past. At the heart of it, it is a system that uses photographic plates. We are shooting multiple 8K cameras. You can combine it with CG elements, and it's going to be a hybrid, everything from full CG, if you want, synthetic, all the way to fully photographic. Then it goes into the Unreal Engine at high resolution, and having to play that back up to 60 frames per second right now, and that is a lot of data that has to get through and be processed in real time. What the Unreal Engine allows us to do is put everything in one basket and shake it up and when it comes out it looks real, right? 3D, 2D, real-time color, tracking, off-axis rendering, all these things and have them happen in real time and give us enough hooks into it that with tablets we can be adjusting color on the fly, we can be adjusting lighting on the fly, we can be doing ray tracing on the fly. And I don't think any of this would be possible without the Unreal Engine. We're showing people something they have never seen before. You generally don't see very many things for the first time. It's real magic when you see it.